What's up, guys? We're back for more Generations Arena action, and today we're going to play as the Quake 1 class, or the Slip Gators, as he's known in this mod. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now, just like they've recreated some levels for Doom to place in this mod, they've also recreated some levels from Quake 1. So let's see what we got here. Here we go. We got Gloom Keep. We got the Dark Zone. We got the Abandoned Base. We got the Bad Place, which, yes, is from Quake 1, not Quake 3. So, I'd say we go with the abandoned base for demonstration purposes. So, here we go. Now, I have to admit that uh, I am pretty terrible at Quake 1, so forgive me for the shitty gameplay you're about to witness. But, nevertheless, I want to demonstrate this class. So Now, if you recall from the last video, if you haven't picked a class yet, the items show as, you know, Quake 3 items. But, if you pick a class, such as Quake, 3, or Quake 1, the Slip Gators, and look at that, there's the Quake 1 health power-up. It's pretty awesome. So here we are as the Quake class. You'll notice the, uh, you know, iconic box ammunition packs. And uh, look at that status bar, I love that. So if you're familiar with Quake, you'll know that he starts with a shotgun. A fast-firing shotgun. Not really great on the damage uh, perspective, but uh, it does the job. It's not a bad weapon to start with at all. Here's the double barreled shotgun. Pretty damn nice. Let's see, there's the, uh, I think that's the regular health, uh, health for Quake. Looks way more detailed in this game, though, which I love. Here's Quake's armor, yellow armor, that is to say. Now, Quake's armor is way different from Doom's. Uh, definitely better. I believe his red armor reduces damage by, like, 80%, maybe? But it's a fairly interesting system, so if I understand correctly, the way Quake's armor works is when you're upgrading to a different class of armor, like from green to yellow, uh, if you pick up a yellow armor power-up, no matter how many points you had before, you will always start with 75. I believe. Unless it's over 75, but then it just kind of transfers over to yellow armor. I think. It's pretty complicated. Um, if you go to the website, it explains a little bit. But I mean, as far as I understand, switching to a different class of armor kind of gives you a starting amount, you know, as opposed to just carrying over, I think. So, I mean, if you're familiar with Quake 1, then perhaps you know the armor system better than I do. There's the, uh, nail gun. There's the super nail gun. Now we're out of nails. Now, in Quake 1, they actually never had armor power-ups like this, like little armor shards, so they decided to add them in for the sake of balance, as they are present in Quake 3. And, as you can see, they modeled them after the runes that you collect in the Quake 1 single-player campaign, so... And that gives you, depending on what armor class you have, it gives... I think with yellow, you get about three, yeah. If you have no armor, you get about five, and you get, uh, green armor, and then I'm not sure how many you get for red armor, but nevertheless. Now, they haven't quite changed the, uh, quad damage power-up yet for each individual class, but there's that. But do know that... The Quake 1 power-ups are present in this game, so if you see an invisibility sphere, it looks like the Ring of Invi Invisibility for Quake, which I think is pretty awesome. Hopefully we can show that off a little bit later. Now, let's see, what other weapons are we missing? Oh, yes! Here's the Shaft, or, you know, it was known in Quake as the Thunderbolt. And yes, you totally can electrocute people when you're underwater with this thing. Behold. <laughs> so there you go. You can still pull off that trick if you're in a body of water. So keep that in mind. Look at those rockets, that's awesome. Alright. So, he's got shotguns, he's got nail guns. But I think the greatest weapon in the Quake arsenal, of course, is the rocket launcher, as you can see here. This is the weapon you want to get when you're Quake. This is single-handedly the best rocket launcher in the game. Well, that's arguable. I prefer the Doom rocket launcher, but hey, you know. It's probably safe to say that this is a fantastic rocket launcher good rate of fire, these projectiles fly out pretty quickly, and they send people flying. I mean, when you hit people with that, they just go all over the fucking place. It's fantastic. Oh, thank you, health. I needed that. Oh, thank you, ammo. Wow. What a nice game. Alright, so there's another weapon we're missing. I think there's the grenade launcher, which is in here somewhere. But we would find... Oh, here we go, here we go. Check it out. There's the ring of invisibility. And yes, when people, when you're walking around, people will only see a pair of eyeballs. Just like in Quake. Now, just like they've changed the armor shards, they also added in little, you know, mini health power-ups like in Quake 3. And Quake 1 never had these, so they made their own versions of them. 
you just get a few little pieces of health there when you pick those up. Kind of took their own liberties with that. I know there's a grenade launcher around here somewhere. Ooh. If I can freaking rocket jump. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 come on. I was almost there. God, I am terrible at this. Wow. Professional player at work here. Uh, so, Quake. Excellent explosives. Uh, good shotguns. I mean, if you're into speed over power. And, you know, no real bullet-based weapons, but he's got his nail guns. So, let's say we add some bots in here. So, let's see. Let's do Minx, who's on the... Uh, I'm going to put her at level 3, because I'm not that great with the uh, <laughs> Quake class. Let's do Minx. She's on the Earth Soldier side. I changed up the announcer, by the way. You can there's an announce there's a male and female announcer. It kind of sounds like a text speak program, but I don't know. I just like it because it's different. Uh, what else do we got? Let's do Crash for Doom. Let's do Keel for Quake. Let's do Major for Quake 2, and let's do Anarchy for Quake 3. All right, so let's see how we do here. Uh, if I actually click the restart button, that also helps. Prepare to fight. All right. Three, Let's two, see how good I do with one, Quake One. Fight. All right. First of all, I might do better with the nail gun. We have lost the lead. And just right off the bat, there we go. Oh my God! Really? Seriously? Now, Quake 1 also has fantastic air control. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I got two people there. I don't know. It's only really worth it if there's more than one person in the water besides yourself. You know? So, anyway, as I was saying, um, what's nice about Quake is he has the fantastic air control. So if you're using jump pads, which I don't know are really present in this level, but do some crazy things. Like, you can really stop yourself on a dime, so you can do some pretty interesting tricks. There's raining grenades down there. I don't know if it's actually hitting anything. Of course not. Now, apparently the grenade bouncing physics carry over from the games. So, Quake 2 has its own unique grenade physics, and... Uh... Oh! I was really hoping to, uh... Yes, the pentagram is down there. I just need to go get my hands on it. Anyway, air control. Yes, Quakes is good. That's all you really need to know. Fucking shit. Doom has that fucking <laughs> stubble belt shotgun. Oh shit, somebody just picked it up. Well, that's not good. Yep, Doom has it. That's not good. Okay, I'm not messing with her. Get me out of the water. Go grab that fancy little rocket launcher up here. supposed to be right there, so maybe we'll just wait for it. And then we'll hop in the water and whoop some ass. I don't know how long it's going to take to respawn, though, so... Armor's good, though. Oh, hi, Crash. Once again. Well, while I still have some electricity here, let's see if it's respawned yet. No? Is it worth it? Maybe not. Oh, shit. Don't you dare! Ugh. Freaking terrible. Okay. Surely it takes us much longer to respawn because, you know, it's the freaking invincibility power up. I know I'm gonna walk away, it's gonna respawn, like, the moment I do. Oh well, whatever. Let's see if anybody's in the water anyway. Well, I got somebody there. I don't know how useful that was. 
Again, you really have to do it when uh, somebody's around. Oh, shit. Oh, bastard. Oh, son of a bitch. Give me that gun. Oh, and the invisible. Oh. Well, I'm second place. I'm doing better than I expected against level 3 bots. I mean, with... You see that? You see how far she went flying? Like, it's, it's crazy. Oh, and then I get sniped. That is one thing Quake does not have, is a sniper weapon. You have to rely on just power. Why the hell not? I'm having way too much fun with that, but I'm not using it properly. I know that for sure. But, alright. Let's see if the invincibility is good. Okay, we got it. Let's go, let's go grab that shaft. Yes, everybody stay in the water. Stay in the water. Aha! There we go. That's how it's done. I'll take that. Anybody else want to get in the water with me? Hit her, but I didn't kill her. Two people in the water. Excellent. There we go. Thank you, announcer. Crazy text speak, female announcer. Whoa, something ridiculous has happened here. Two flags left. Two flags ah, left. Yes, keep on coming in here. Ha! Ah, that's Excellent. how you use that rocket launcher right there. Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. Maybe I'm not that bad. 25% accuracy. That's not too bad. Let's try another level, shall we? Uh, how about? Let's see. Well, we could do Gloom Keep. Show you a good old single-player level. Of course, there won't be any monsters in it. Alright. Actually, I think there's some good armor in this level, so... so... Here we are in Gloom Keep. There's that rocket launcher location, as it should be. Normally there's an ogre up there, but this is deathmatch, you see. Alright, let's add in our little... bot players here. Crash and mix. There we go. I'm playing Slipgate and restart. Prepare to fight. See how we do this time. Three. Two, one, fight. All right. I think they added some holes. Now these traps are active. Whoa. See, same with here. You have lost the lead. So just like in Quake, there are little traps all over the place. You are tied for the lead. I never really knew how to use nail guns properly. Now, unlike Quake, you can you actually duck this time around. So. Ow. Ow. Wow, those nails pack a punch. Oh! Got nailed. Spiked, as they said. I need a much better weapon for this. Oh, shit. She has a mortar launcher. That's not okay. That's better than that. A launcher isn't bad at all. Oh, got rocket launched by the other Quake class. Now, as you're seeing here, as you probably have already noticed, you know, certain classes aren't limited to just Doom or the, or the Quake guy, you know, like Minx is on the Earth Soldier's side or the Wolfenstein side. In fact, no, she is on Oh, give me a break. Of course, Crash is on, you know, the Doom side. There's Major, who's on the Quake 2 side. I just figured they'd give you a little more variety, which I think is nice. You know, it's a good touch. All right, see if we can use the shaft. I don't think there's much water out except for outside, but check it out. Here's the outside world. 
outside of Gloom Keep. Normally you'd come in this way and you got little spike things. Oh, God, I'm terrible. I'm just much better at Doom's rocket launcher, I have to admit. This is the much more competitive old school rocket launcher, though. Chain guns translate into thunderbolts, apparently. No complaint there, but I am nearly dead. I gotta be very careful. Unlike Doom, you do get fall damage as Quake. So, that is something to keep in mind. You have lost the lead. Shit. Oh! Oh god, he's at the, he has the shaft! Uh, touch. Oh, well, I have that. Oh crap. Yeah, put me right next to him again. That's a great idea. Oh. Third place still. Okay, where am I? Whoa! I was hoping to show off the, uh, you know, the good old trick where you go behind the teleporter, you can go up there, but I guess we'll have to do that. Launcher, thank you much. Damn. That Gatling gun, I tell you. Launchers are nice, but uh, okay, 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 here we go. Here we are. What do we got up here? We got some. Ooh. Shotgun. Let's go grab that rocket launcher ASAP. That's what I'm talking about. Rocket launcher and quad damage. Who wants some now? Bring it the fuck on. Oh, I only have eight. There we go. Wow, that first shot was just a bit stupid. How about that? Oh, shit. You have taken the lead. Well, there we go. Sweet. Alright. Out of rockets. Okay. And did I just blow myself up? Okay, good. At least I didn't blow myself up. Not that humiliating. You are tied for the lead. Well, shit. Who's gonna take the lead away from me? And there's my skills with the Thunderbolts. You have lost the lead. Well, I hit her with the nails. Oh, Aha! Okay, I don't have much health, so I can this count. Wow! And that's what happens when you shoot the ground. Still third place. I was first for a split second there. Everybody gets the Berserker back now. Just Doom just... Uh, no, Doom gets quad damage. So, I redact my previous state. Doom can get quad. Ha! Ah, there we go. They will have animations for this axe eventually. Come here! I'm gonna ask you a question, damn it! Ah. frags to go. Someone is beating us. That would be me. So. Let's try not to blow ourselves up this time. Nice hyperblaster. This is a rocket launcher. Quit bouncing. 
bouncing around like an idiot. Oh! Then Keel comes in with the sneak attack. Okay, here we go. Super Dale gun time. We'll get somebody with the Super Dale gun. by a freaking machine gun. Ow. That freaking... So Wolfenstein has a mortar launcher, you see. And it's pretty damn powerful. Looks like I'm not gonna win this one. Well, we'll see. Crash can't be. Keel looks like he took the lead. So I think he might be the leader here. Shit. Oh god. Oh shit. Uh, health, good. Armor, good. Okay. We're gonna survive. We're gonna make it. I think we'll be alright. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Health, yes. No, no. Fuck off, you stupid bastard. No. Blow up. Thank you. Ah, I took. Hey, hey, all right, all right, all right. Okay, maybe we got this. Oh shit! Come here. Work. Oh shit! Well, there was that. I am tied to the lead, though. You have lost the lead. Damn it! Why did I say that? No. Launcher. I'm gonna need this if I'm gonna win this. No. Don't kill me. Kill Keel. I am not your enemy. Aha, alright. No, damn you, Keel. I am the real quick player here. You are tied to damn right. You have taken the one fire. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Who's gonna win? Oh shit, why'd you put me right here? Ha ha! That's how you do it. Wow, not bad. That was a pretty close game there. Whew. All right, well, there you go. There's the Quake 1 class. Pretty fun. Not bad if you reduce the difficulty of the bots. Maybe some of you out there are better at Quake 1, so you don't need to play at level 3. But, uh, yeah, there you have it. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And next week, we'll take a look at the uh, Quake 2 class, which is known as the Strong Troopers in this game. All right, later.